Hey everyone, it's Teacher Bonnie and welcome back to Wow with Bonnie. Now for this episode, Teacher Bonnie wants to ask you something. Uh, okay, let me talk about yesterday first. So yesterday, Teacher Bonnie was watching uh, Iron Man. Iron Man, do you know who Iron Man is? Of course, right? Of course. Yeah, so he is, uh, he has superpowers. So his superpower is probably his suit. Okay, after he wears his suit, he will have super strength, he can fly everywhere, he can have those laser beams coming out from his hand, like beep, 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 beep. So those are superpowers. And then after that, I watched Elsa. Yeah, I watched Elsa again. Do you watch Elsa? Boys are like, no. <laughs> but girls are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I watched Elsa again, and then I found out that she has superpowers as well. So do you know what her superpower is? It's like her hands, right? Like she has super cold hands and like ice comes out from it. She's like, Psh. yeah, super cool, right? Yeah, I wish I had superpowers too. Mm. Do you think we can have superpowers? Yeah, because most people who have superpowers, they're superheroes. Like like, like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Superman, Superwoman, uh, Elsa. Yeah, they're all mostly heroes, only they have superpowers. <laughs> I want to have superpowers too. But do you think we can have superpowers? Mm, don't know. Why not later we'll watch a video and find out, right? Maybe we as humans can have superpowers as well. Yeah, let's see. So before we go watch the video, Teacher Bonnie would like to know if, like, what superpower would you want to have? Okay? Like, yeah, there's all the Marvel characters there. There's Spider-Man, the Hulk. Hulk has super strength. Spider-Man has, like, spider webs coming out from his hands. Iron Man there. Captain America. What's Captain America's superpower? His, sh his shield, right? Yeah. So tell Teacher Bonnie what superpowers would you like to have? Or maybe like Elsa. Girls may say like, I want ice hands. I want ice powers. So that's also a superpower. Now tell Teacher Bonnie what superpower you would like to have. Okay? And tell me in the comments below. If I have time, I will tell you what superpower I, Teacher Bonnie, would like to have. <laughs> Okay, so any superpower, it doesn't have to be flying or blazer beam. It can be something silly. It can be like, um, I wish to have eating superpowers. Like, I can eat super fast. Or, uh, what else? What other silly superpowers we can have? Mm, ah, or maybe you can say, I want to have a superpower that I won't be tired. I won't be tired at all. Okay, I, no matter how long I don't sleep, no matter, if you, if you don't sleep, I, I'm still not tired, and that's a superpower as well, okay? Tell Teacher Bonnie, tell Teacher Bonnie, thank you, and now we are going to find out, so for us as normal, normal humans, normal boys, normal, normal girls, normal men, normal women, can we have superpowers as well? Like those superheroes. Okay? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's see, let's watch the video, let's see, let's find out. Always loved stories about superheroes. We've all dreamed of flying, invisibility, and web slinging through New York City. But it's true, hey, flying would be a cool superpower and also invisibility. That's not invisible. You know what invisible means? Invisible means that you have invisible powers and no one can see you. <laughs> That would be so cool. That will be a very cool superpower. Yeah. Let's through New York City. But is it actually possible? Can human beings have real superpowers like you see in comic books? Well, let's find out in today's episode of... Okay, so thank you again, Colossal Questions, for uh, answering our question. Okay, can us as humans can have superpowers as well? <laughs> I have some really awesome news for you. You can have superpowers. Really? We can have superpowers? Bruh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Generally speaking, there's three main ways that characters get superpowers. You can be a mutant, an altered human, or a tech genius. Oh, Iron Man. Alien, or have magic, but the first two aren't human and magic isn't real. Okay, so there's a few types of ways to be to have superpowers so there's the mutant maybe they'll explain to us what mutant is okay wait, where is it there's the mutant where's a mutant altered what's that altered altered human okay altered human 
or maybe a tech genius. So these three people, they can have superpowers. I'm not sure what they are, what does it mean? The video will tell us later, okay? But then there's also these three types. So there's the robot, the alien, magic. So uh, unless you are an alien or a robot, you may have superpowers, but a robot and alien, they're not real, okay? We don't, they're absolutely, I don't think they, yeah, the video says they're not real. And magic doesn't exist. So we can just say bye bye to these three. And then. Oh, okay. So mutants are like when they're born, they already have the superpower. Okay. But probably the best example is a little German boy with super strength. His real name is unknown, but he goes by what's already basically a superhero name. Das Uberboy. <laughs> das Uberboy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is a real story. It's by a real German boy, okay? So he has... But when he was born, he already had superpowers. Okay, let's see. The German boy was jacked. He has a genetic mutation that messes with how big his muscles can be. At just four years old, Das Uberboy could lift six times more weight than the average kid. Okay. Oh, so, okay, so that means some people, when they're born, they have something, they have special genes or special DNA that makes, like for this boy, he has special genes and then his muscles can be can be grow yeah they, they can grow super fast making him super strong even at the age of four wow i would like that superpower super strength yeah six times more weight than the average kid okay so you could be a real life mutant but what about spiders or gamma rays or radioactive waste can they give you real life powers yeah they can Altered humans like Spider-Man or Captain America are characters who somehow gain their superpowers after birth. Usually oh, so this type of altered humans, they're like, um, when they're born, they don't have the power yet, but then they will put something into their body. Like Spider-Man, there was a spider going into him, making him have superpowers. And also like Captain America, I'm not sure about Captain America, but maybe Captain America drank something or put something into his body, making him super strong and has superpowers. Oh. Science is showing that there may actually be a way to change someone's DNA and give them superpowers in real life. Oh, so scientists may be able to do that. They will like create a new medicine, put it into a human body, and then you will become... You, I mean, not become, you will have superpowers. Wow. Okay. Still for gaining superpowers after birth is a process called quantum tunneling. Quantum this mysterious regeneration for the metamorphosis of tadpoles into frogs, for instance. Ooh. Scientists are just beginning to understand quantum tunneling. It could allow humans to quickly recover from terrible injuries, like Wolverine or Deadpool. Oh. Okay, so that is also superpowers, like healing power, like um, scientists are trying to make a medicine that when it's inside a human body, if you get hurt, you will heal, heal right away. Well, that's a very cool superpower as well. I would like to have that superpower. <laughs> healing superpower. Yeah. So whenever I fall down or I hit something, it will heal right away. <laughs> wow. That's really wow. I would like that. What about the superhuman gadgets? In the comic Like Iron Man. Can we be like Iron Man? A tech genius is someone like Iron Man. Devices, usually of their own brilliant design. It turns out to be harder than Tony Stark makes it look to build an exosuit. Currently, there's just one working prototype on the planet, and it isn't nearly as cool as it is in the movies. It was built to help soldiers hike long distances without feeling the weight of their heavy equipment most of that weight, which helps soldiers conserve energy. So we might be a couple of decades away from anything resembling a Bruce Wayne invention. But wow, definitely... okay, so it's real now. It is possible and it is really actually happening. So some people, some soldiers in other countries, because um, soldiers have to carry super heavy bags, right? So they're designing a robot to help them to carry the bag and when they're walking, it's not as tired. <sighs> Woo! That's a super power, yeah. By using robots or technology to help. Okay, so that is possible as well, and some people are already doing it. Woo! So, not only can you have superpowers in real life, there's all kinds of superpowers to choose from. 
so figure out your favorite superpower and get to work mastering it. And now you Okay, so that was the video. So it is possible for us as humans to have superpowers. Woo! Okay, that was really wow, wow, wow. I think... Mm, yeah, it's real wow. I, did, I didn't thought of that. I thought it was only in, in movies, cartoons, only characters will have them, only superheroes will have superpowers, but maybe we can have superpowers as well in the future. Woo! Okay, so that is the video. Thank you for watching it with Teacher Moni. And now it's time to go to Letterland. Now for today's word, Teacher Moni would like to talk about the word strong. Strong. And that's one of the superpowers that I would like to have. To have strong. Uh, I want to be super, super strong. And I can carry anything I want. <laughs> yeah, strong. Okay, so... um. In the word strong, there's one, two, three, four, five, six letters, okay? But these are boring letters. Let's say bye-bye to boring letters. We'll go to Letterland. We'll meet the Letterland friends. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. And ta -da -da! Go out, Letterland friends. And these are our Letterland friends. Okay, so in the word strong, there's Sammy Snake. There's Talking Tess. So together it's st, st. Again, it's st. There's Red Robot there. And there's Oscar Orange. So st. Okay, look here. Straw. Mm. And we have Noisy Dick and Golden Girl story. Do you know their story? Yeah, so Noisy Dick and Golden Girl are good friends. So when they're together, they say, mm, together. They like to sing and say, mm. The mm sound is like sing the N sound, sing Noisy Dick sound, but with your mouth open. Mm. Okay. And by the way, NG sounds like going poo poo. <laughs> Right, really? Because it's like, how do you go poo-poo? <laughs> right. You, look, you do it like this. <laughs> and say for the NG sound. <laughs> so all together, it's strong. Okay? So one more time, let's say it together. Strong. Strong. Okay, show me your strong muscles. <laughs> strong. <laughs> okay, so this is the word strong. And, oh, let your left friends went bye-bye. Okay, see you soon. And remember, so that's just it for the Blackland part. And remember to tell Teacher Bonnie what superpower you would like, you will want to have. Okay, tell Teacher Bonnie in the comments below. And I'm, if I'm free, yeah, if I'm free, because Teacher Bonnie's busy, busy recently. So if I'm free, I promise I will, I will reply to your comments and tell you guys what Teacher Bonnie's, uh, what superpower I would want to have the most. Okay, and I think that is it. What's this? Why are we on the road? Who put this here? Hello? It's strange. Who put that there? Is there something wrong with my... What? I'm not fly... Why am I flying? I'm sitting right here, silly. Oh my god. But I'm trying to find out why is there a road here? Why is... A... Oh my god. Is that me? What? Oh my god, who put my face there? And I am a soup. Okay, I. Oh, yeah, I'm flying. No wonder you said I was flying. Who put it there? Oh my god, it's these silly pictures again. Is that my tongue? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so is there any more? Okay, I guess not. Okay, so that was super strange. Okay, <laughs> anyway, Teacher Bonnie will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Here we go again. Okay, go ahead, shoo, shoo, shoo. Scary picture. <laughs>